Hey everybody, this is Ken Haskins with CMSWebsites.net and in this tutorial I wanted to help those who create uh, websites with Adobe Muse actually get the most out of those websites using the OpenGrab protocol otherwise known as OGP. Now what that is is it's a set of special meta tags that allow you to be able to customize and control the look and feel of your website's content whenever it's shared on social media outlets. For example here I have a simple addthis.com widget here and when I click this button for Facebook um, this box will pop open. I can put any comment that I want here but this is where the open graph protocol actually comes into play where I have a nice image here the title and description of what this web page is all about so when that person clicks share link not only will their comment come through but also this information as well so it gives a more accurate depiction of what your web page is all about and all of that is done with the open grab protocol and you can read more about that at ogp.me and here I also have a link in the description box where you can actually click that link go to my website and you can actually copy and paste this information into any text editor edit it yourself and make sure that you edit it to fix uh, to fit the needs of your website and you want to make sure that you really pay attention to some of the notations that I have that's going to really help you to be able to implement this successfully into your website like for instance the image here uh, your images have to be big uh, not you know extremely big or large but what happens is it needs to be uh, big and then it has to be even so 300 by 300 400 by 400 and so forth don't know why that is but you know it just works out better that way and like I mentioned here you can customize this is all generic you can customize this to fit the look and feel of your website and you can go back to the open graph protocol website and you can even build on to the information that I have listed for you by adding some other information that they may have on their website so whatever it takes to look to customize the look and feel of your own website the open graph protocol website is actually going to help you to be able to do that so once you have done that what you want to do is actually copy this information and you want to put it into your Adobe Muse website by clicking on page properties and you want to paste that information here in the HTML for head box or section of this box now the thing you want to be careful about here is that at the bottom here I do have the uh, HTML, HTML meta tags uh, info here because in Adobe Muse you're already able to edit or create your own HTML title as well as your keywords you may not need to put this information into Adobe Muse again but you want to make sure that you copy some of this other stuff that's going to help you to really optimize your website there especially this here um, which is the Googlebot meta tag there what happens with that is is let's just say for instance you make a mistake you leave a word out of your description or your page title and you've already uploaded it and you know submitted your web page to Google what will happen is when Google sends out their uh, spiders to crawl the web again it won't skip over your website because it already because it's already indexed what's going to happen is that it's actually going to look through your MC, your index uh, your site again to see if there's any changes within your website and so it's going to correct any errors that you might have fixed along the way so you definitely want to have that bit of code there unless you're just sure that everything is perfect then you're good to go the other thing that happens with the rest of this open graph meta tag uh, information here is that it really almost updates itself instantly so if, let's say for instance you do make a mistake and you correct that mistake and you upload it back to the server well within a matter of minutes to a matter of hours whenever that content is shared on Facebook or Twitter or any other social networking site what will happen is that corrected information will show up instantly as opposed to if you just use the generic uh, meta tag information that Adobe Muse has um, in your, on your website that might take you know three to four weeks five weeks before it actually corrects itself if it does at all so you want to make sure that you use that as well so as you can see it's really just that simple once you uploaded the the files to your server you want to make sure that you validate and apply 
So go to dev.twitter.com, put in your website's page there, click go, and it's going to comb through your site or your page rather to make sure that everything is working well for Twitter. So when your uh, site or your page is shared on Twitter's network, what will happen is it'll show up looking this way. And if there were any, if there was anything wrong, you would see a bunch of red lights here, or, or red light, or what have you, that you would need to correct those errors so that Twitter can actually um, read your content properly. And the same thing here with Facebook. You want to go to developers.facebook.com, click the bug, and of course, it's going to tell you how Facebook is going to show you how Facebook sees your site as well and again if there were any errors then they both will let you know so as you can see it's really not that difficult at all if you have any questions or anything like that please feel free to shoot me a message or post a comment uh, please subscribe I'll be greatly it'll be greatly appreciated if you do my name is Ken Haskins I'm with CMS websites.net till next time